see Manchester City are the other blue team, the team that are higher up in the division, you know, the one with like Aguero, all them good players. Yeah, Everton's the one we beat yesterday, that was pretty easy in the end, so I'm going to go play them. That's the second time we've had to make that call. As welcome back guys to episode... Is this 11 or 12? I don't care. It's the games that are more important today as yes, it's the Grimsby Town to Glory FIFA 21 and as you can see on screen as I always say we have Burnley in a good mood for today even though it's really hard games. Hopefully it keeps the morale up as it is away at Turf Moor I've got to say. I think as we are on a 22 game unbeaten run. We have Burnley first, Manchester City at Blundell Park second, which of course I think have won the Premier League a couple of times in this save. The first time we are playing a top four team, not even six, with Bournemouth after it and Cardiff, which I'm probably going to sim both of them, and maybe Rotherham if I get onto it, because I know we're going to play two games, especially today, and they are the biggest ones. And of course, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and leave a like if you want to support me. That would mean the world, as the last video that I'm getting the comments from did very, very well. The first one from Charlotte Robertson saying, do you think you can win silverware? I am going to say no. We're top of the league and we're in the FA Cup. That might be stupid to some of your ears, but still, I'm not going to get ahead of myself. That's the reason I, of course, want to. I feel like we're capable of, but I am not going to overhype it for myself. Next thing is from Jenny Kerwin. Some, well, not just Jenny, loads of people have told me this. Don't just look at players' potential when promoting to the academy. Look at their values. That is something I need to make sure I'm doing. I'm going to start off with the academy today because I've got a brilliant youth player who's come through and I have trimmed it down so unfortunately I have trimmed some down without looking at the values but hopefully that will be the last time because I'm taking these comments on board now and I'm going to look at value as well as potential so thank you for ev so thank you everyone who said that as the last question is from Jenko J love the name sign Matt Clark would be realistic and has high potential at the moment I think he's 77 rated at Brighton who sit in the top of the relegation zone in the Prem checked that before we got into this episode so if they get relegated and we get promoted of course it's realistic I think it would be really good could nick another Brighton player or two as well Ben Clark's doing oh not Ben Clark uh, Ben White's doing all right and they've got Neil Moore Pay and Co. So yeah, I think they're a great team to steal from. As the first bit of things we need to steal are three points away from Burnley. If we do, we will go into the last ten games of the season, five points in front. That is a huge milestone. But of course, I'm going to start with the academy, like I said. And it's going to be very, very difficult to get a result against Burnley. Did it the first time round, though. But does that mean it's guaranteed the second? Definitely not. And I've gone onto the calendar instead of going to this academy. You see him right there, Maloney. Look at the players we have in the academy. We've got McNamee coming through who looks great. We've got all over 60. That's what I want to do with the academy now, get them all over 60 rated. But Maloney has just turned 16. We've got a keeper as well, Cunningham. He's going to wait because Aaron Maloney, 66 rated, left winger. If Decadova uh, Reed retires... This guy can come straight in. Maybe goes on the loan list, but definitely the next Brandon Pope. That's a great start. Can't wait for that keeper to get through as well as the youth development is up in my manager rating. I'm already at 94. Now I've got to pick this team wisely that I'm going to play against um, Burnley as we've got a big injury as well, which is not good. I'm actually going to put him on the bench, I think, to start off with as well, Maloney. Can he fit there? He can. Dal can actually play central midfield as well, so this... It's probably not going to be my lineup. I know I've got Manchester City next as well, so... Oh, that's playing in my mind. Do want to play most of the players in that game, but this is a vital one as well for the league. So we're going to go with Schubert in goal. Aylin, who I'm fearing is going to get tired. Mark Gehi, Pollock and Doig in the defence with Harper, Connolly and Dal. So rescue Burke and Deckard over it. It's what good squad depth does. Burke, I'm a bit sceptical on, but I think Pace can beat Burnley's old defenders. The Brexit team that they are as it's away from home in the biggest game of the championship season. And it's at Turf Moor. Premier League Stadium in real life, of course not anymore. I think... I don't know which one's bigger, Selhurst Park or Turf Moor out of them teams that we've played in the league. Of course, not the biggest stadium we've played at now. We've played at Wembley and um, Goodison, which I'm counting as like the best real ground that we've played away at. Of course, Wembley's just for everyone. As the Burnley lineup is going to be as follows. Nick Pope still in goal. Wagaway, Wesley Hoyt, Eric Garcia and Quintala at the back. That's very good for 
at the back. Is it 4 4 2? Of course, it is Ellis at right mid with Hayden now back in the middle with Brownhill and Martinez. Diallo and Michael Oberfemi up front. I just don't believe this. FIFA, come on, be a bit more realistic. How has Burnley got two of the best youth players in world football going? Maybe a bit exaggerated with that. I mean, I do rate Michael Oberfemi and Diallo, but they're probably not proven. But still, being at Burnley at Turf Moor just doesn't really sit right with me as Diallo does start off with the ball. Got a tackle in there from Mark Gehi, who once was highly rated at um, Chelsea. It's Raheem Harper out on the wing to Deca Dover-Reed as well. Burke making a run forward. Deca Dover-Reed to keep on going, to keep on going. Shoots across net and what a block. It's round the corner. Oh, he's on. He's onside. Oh my days. And he's passed it straight to Aylin. I had no idea he had beaten the offside trap. That's a bit lucky for us as Doig is going to switch play to... Kieran Dowell here, a bit of an even game this one, two big chances there, gone completely missing as Burke has a chip over the top to look for Reed, but Wagaway cuts it out, and it's Michael Oberfemi on the ball again now, cuts inside, gives it to Martinez, there we go, Luke Aylin, I've got to try and slow play down with him, which I don't like, because he's the fastest player after all, but of course don't want him fatigued for the next game, as he's been chipped there, and it's out of play. 20 minutes against Burnley, nothing happening. However, Michael Oberfemi with the ball into Brownhill, across to Diallo. It's come inside of Luke Ayling, round the corner. And Martinez scores the first goal, bang on 20 minutes. I was wrong. Something has happened in this game. And it is Burnley taking the lead at Turf Moor. What a huge game. I don't think they're, well, they're definitely not through in the FA Cup. My mind slightly on that. No excuses, though. As the home side take the lead and will go top of the table if this result sticks. So that is a result we kind of could have done without. Josh Doig with the ball though. Looking over the top towards Michael Connolly. Great run. He's going to cut back inside here. But it's straight to Wesley Hoyt. He's got I think two player of the months before of course we hit form. So we know he's going to be a decent defender. I don't think we'll get him when we go into the Prem as well. Because I don't know about his potential and of course... He will be going to the Prem himself if the result stays like this as it's into Michael Oberfemi around the corner to Diallo. Back into Oberfemi and Pollock has to deal. And Deckard over Reed again around the corner looking for Josh Doig. Doig has a run on here. Michael Connolly in the middle into Burke. Burke wins a header. It's a good header in the middle now to the rescue and the keeper. Nick Pope to the rescue, just round the corner, just could not slot that in. Ailing does keep the ball though, onto the rescue. Interesting game, is he on? He's off. It was meant for Aylin. And Matty Pollock, the ball looking to spray it out wide now to Luke Aylin. Good chest from him down the line to the rescue. Can we get a goal before half time? That would do me well, that. Burke's made a good off the ball run to let Harper have a bit of space. Keep that ball, he has done. It's just slightly behind Deca Dover Reed, who does get on it. Pass across the box looking for Burke, but the defender's just in the way in a terrible header. From Luke there at right back to give it to Diallo. Referee, please blow your whistle before it though. Don't let them have this attack. There they go. They've gone backwards. They're still going to be able to run with the ball though. As Ellis has it out wide. Doig coming across. Can you blow the whistle now, ref? They've gone back. Hayden in the middle to Josh Brownhill and Mike Gehi. There we go. Hoof it. Hoof it again. And that is the half-time whistle. It is 1-0 to Burnley here. The 22-game run could be over. I mean, I kind of do expect it with these two games. I just can't decide which one's more important. Getting up to the prim by winning this league if we can. Or just trying to save players for the next game against City. I'm going to save Deca Dovery, but then again, I'm going to put Jeff Got on instead of Burke. So we are putting a good player I wanted to save for the Citizens onto the field. It's just, it's just playing over in my mind. As Ellis does have a ball. Oh my days, they could score literally minutes in. And it's Diallo who puts Burnley two up. Oh my, we've got a problem here. The form's going all over the place. I started off on high morale recording this. But Burnley take a two-goal lead in a huge game here at Turf Moor. He's past the keeper, Schubert, straight into that bottom corner. No chance. We've got a mountain to climb. I kind of regret putting Jeff got on now. It's going to be a defeat if it stays like this. And second in the league. Not good at all. Can we pull back something? Maybe get a draw or just another goal to try and boost the morale. As Dal needs to come off at some point in this game as well. Probably for um, 
I'm guessing Traore in that midfield because he needs to be saved. He was a star man against Everton. As Martinez has the ball out wide. Straight past Matty Pollock into Abdul Diallo. Across to Isaac Hayden. He's got a gap here. Come on, Doy. Come across as it's into Diallo. And it's getting embarrassing against Burnley. It is three now and Diallo's second goal. As he's just run as ragged. It's, it's just all over the place. It has. What? Change that, mate. I made a change on the wing and up front. It shouldn't harm the defence, as it definitely looks like they've took a batter in here. It's going to be a long road home if we can't get anything here, and not a good way to go into the biggest game of the probably club's history against City. Let's try and involve Nelson if we can. Keep the ball at least, as Doig in the middle now to Harper. Oh, I can't even turn. We beat these first time round as well. That is what is slightly frustrating me, as Obafemi keeps the ball well into Ellis. Been a great winger, coming across still to try and block them off. They're just making all the support runs, all the skills, and just not really Burnley football. Michael Obafemi now gives it back out to Brownhill in the middle to Quintella. Round to Obafemi. It's going to be Hayden through the middle to Diallo, and he's got his hat trick. This is embarrassing now. I'm actually concerned. It's not funny anymore. It's the same celebration as well from the last three as Diallo has a hat-trick. If this were a lower team, I'd definitely look to buying him, but I don't think I'd be able to buy him. He's enjoying his time at Burnley, who will sit top of the league comfortably now after thrashing us 4-0. This is getting bad for goal difference. And honestly, how has this happened? It's Doig chasing Ellis now, trying to get by. Oh, this guy's got skills, this guy on the wing. I'm loving him as well. As we finally got the ball out to Nelson, but it's just been terrible, terrible day. Even if we get a goal, I'm not going to be happy, as it looks like they're just going to get more. We don't even look like going forward. Brownhill onto Diallo again. It's Brownhill who's had his options shortened a bit, and Diallo scored a fifth. Can you be bothered? Diallo with his fourth, and Burnley's fifth. 22 games unbeaten, definitely coming to a halt here. It's 5-0 to Burnley. And I'm not actually feeling good in going into this Man City game. If we would have took a defeat, even 1-0 here, I would have said, oh well, we're going to go into the big game next. But this is terrible. We're going to get smashed by the next team. But then again, I, I, I shouldn't be thinking of the next game. I should be thinking about this one, and I am slightly, and we're still getting absolutely hammered. I've changed the team around slightly. Maybe that's been bad for morale, but still... With 10 minutes still to go and it being 5-0, the worst defeat we've ever took in a big game like this. It's embarrassing for us as Harper's looking for one more for us and can't even get the ball around. And this guy's struggling in a town shirt a little bit. Look at that, straight to the ground. Nelson, maybe Maloney comes for his spot and maybe he goes out on loan as it's just Burnley. Attacking, attacking, attacking. Mateus Vidra off the bench, still outpacing Josh Doig. 80 rated. I think this guy's transfer listed as well. As they have won a corner. It could be six. It could be six to the home team. Sean Dykes just knows how to get into that Premier League. As it's into the front. Oh, Bafemi off the crossbar. And Nelson slightly gets ahead on it. It's going towards Connolly. They've still kept the ball. Ellis with it in the middle. Great footwork from him. But Ailin just gets a tackling. I mean, their team is like worth 100 mil as well. Burnley's team. As we have got the ball slightly out. It's still in the danger zone though. It could even be six. Still fighting for goals in stoppage time as it's only going to be five. And it's like a cheer of relief from Burnley. Like they expected to get the job done. What a halt in form that is for us. Got to do the press conferences now to try and motivate the boys a bit. Bobby Reid, who came off at half time, got man of the match for us. And here it is, off the back of bad form. What a game to go in after a 5 0 defeat and try and pick yourself up against Manchester City. At home, yes, it's at home, whoopee doo, but still, it's a big team, it's a big game, round 6, aka the quarter-final of the FA Cup, and it should be televised. And as manager ratings took a little bit of a hit, I don't blame it after that game against Burnley, we've got to try and rebuild it, it's probably going to be after this game though, as Manchester City... I just, I, I can't stop saying it. Grimsby Town against Man City in the FA Cup in a knockout game. Anything could happen when you think about it. But it doesn't look like it's going to be in our favour. And it is undoubtedly the biggest game in our history on this career. Might be in Grimsby's real life career. I mean, they've won loads of cups like the, um, the game against Barnet. That was a great game. But still, 
it's not as big as this one. Schubert is going to be our goalkeeper for it, of course, trusting him. Luke Aliens at right back, actually fully fit, which I like, but I don't like his performance in the last game. Mike Gehi and Gregerson are the partnership, the G&G &G boys at the back with Doig at the left. Harper is a little bit tired, gonna trust him in the middle though with Dowell and Pope who's straight back into it after uh, his little shoulder injury for a week with Sorescu now a right winger. Finally found his position out on that right wing. Luke Jeff got back up front from the start and Decca Dover Reed. Manchester City, the citizens. Can we get a result? And here we go, Blundell Park. Looks like Craven Cottage with the little building in the corner. Never actually realized that as Manchester City are at Blundell Park, the Mariners as home ground. As look at this, the ball's right there, the FA Cup. You never know, beat a big team like we have done already against Everton. We could actually be into the next round, the semi-final. Win this game, we go to Wembley, as that is the run we are on. We should have either Chelsea or Brighton or West Ham, because of course Chelsea got knocked out. If that sticks as the table, I don't think it does, does it? Stupidly changes. But still, it's gonna be it's gonna be a big ask either way. We've got to get past these first, which I have no faith after getting beaten by Burnley five goals to nil. As this is going to be the Manchester City lineup, it's gonna show us Edison, Serginio Desk, El Adest. Ella Militao, Laporte and Angelino. It's a full strength back line. Rodri, Lorente and De Bruyne. Mares, Jesus and Sterling. They're not going any easier. They want to win this trophy. If we can beat this team, we can literally beat anyone. This is one of the best teams in world football by the looks of it. As it's going to be a challenge. And there we go. Kicked off against Manchester City. Oh, if we can get promoted and not bottle games like we did the last one, we could have a team like... Manchester City to play week in, week out. The likes of Chelsea as well. Manchester United as it's an early free kick. Sorescu wins it. Going to be passed by Aylin into Raheem Harper. If an early shot goes off, you never know. Aylin in the middle. He's found Jeff got. It's a good turn, Luke. Jeff got across. Nat Edison saves. And I know the fans at Blundell Park in real life will be singing, we've had a shot. As I cannot believe we've actually done it. Kieran Dowell. Oh, ran into... Ed Emil attack. Get this pressure on though, boys. Get it into the faces. Manchester City won't like that. Look, Gregerson flooding forward. I don't care about gaps at the back. Get in their faces. As Gabby Jesus flattened all the way back from Mark Gehi. We have covering um, Rekim Harper as De Bruyne now has the ball. Into Jesus. Doig has to come across though. It's Gabby Jesus. Runs in. De Bruyne is being nicked a bit there. Lorente, Mark Gehi with a good tackle. Win that race, Schubert. As it's going to be a corner early on for Manchester City. I expect a lot more of this. Riyad Mahrez to whip it in. It's going to go towards the back post. Won by Gregerson. Only as far as Marcus Llorente into Rodri. And Harper gets it away. I'm very nervous about this game. As it's Gregerson steps across again. Good start from the Norwegian at the back. He knows his job. As Rodri has the ball to Jesus. It's still going to be City pushing forward. As I expect over the top. Mark Gehi. To just walk that out, to be honest with you. They're not putting as much pressure as us on the ball as it's a good ball into Dowell. Oh, and De Bruyne doing his work. Even doing it even further. It's Sterling on this wing. Gregerson's been danced across this time. Please just keep it. Nil-nil as long as we can as Gregerson does get a tackling. What a game he's had in the first 22 minutes. As Oh, Decker Dover, he can't win a header to Lorente. Across to Laporte. Rodri now on the ball. Can we just do a Cheltenham? Nick a goal and hopefully sit on it unlike they did. As it's into Marcos Lorente. He's through 1-on-1. And it was only a matter of time really, wasn't it? Marcos Lorente scores first for Manchester City. And the citizens lead at Blundell Park. You don't know how hard it's actually is to try and motivate the boys from the last game. And control this team. Sliding all over the place. Trying to just control each player, trying to keep up with the little tiki-taka passes as it's been put straight into that bottom corner and they lead, which is expected. Just wish we could pull out a shock. Come on, boys. We did it against Everton. Who says we can't get a result here as Jesus gives it in the middle? It could be two straight away, though. Now I've said that. Schubert actually saves a chip slide in there. Lorente. Oh, and it's over. Schubert actually judges a chip. Well in, lad. Marcus, I love that from you as Gregerson does have the ball from a roll down. Gives it into Mark Gay. That's boosted my confidence a bit because he never does that as there's no left back. Angelino is tucked in. So rescue with a shot across goal and it's over the top. And Gabby Jesus with the ball onto Kevin De Bruyne. Good tackle. Gregerson 
Gives it out wide to Doige. Doige has Decadova read on this run. Chipping over the top. We've got to get in behind of City to beat them. Even though they have fast defenders. Whip that ball in first time towards Brandon Pope. As Angelino, the small defender, deals. But it is a corner right here. Before half time. For the Mariners. I'm just going to try and put that near Angelino. He's not the tallest. Gregerson or Jeff got actually. Has a good header, but he still, uh, still can't get his head on it. So rescue out wide to Mark Gehi. He could have been a good one in the box. As it's towards Rekim Harper. Cross to Decker over Reed. And what a poor ball. He can't be doing that against City in a big game. But Gregerson deals with it. Just before half time, can we try and get ourselves back in it? We are only 1 0 down. Decker over Reed to whip it in first time towards Jeff. Got it off the crossbar. And what a chance for us. Before the half time whistle, Jeff got especially. As it's going to be 1-0 to Manchester City. That's a half to be proud of. Dominated, yes. They've had more than one chance to score, of course. But still, 1-0 down to Man City at home is still not bad when we're a championship club. Boys, I've got confidence, despite that last result, 5-0, we can get back into this. As it is Deca Dover, who has the ball straight from kickoff. We nicked it off De Bruyne, of all people. Jeff got out to Sorescu. We're flooding forward. We want this goal. I'm not even attacking. Sorescu, take a shot from range. And it's a tester. Like Jose Mourinho says, though, you can't be nice guys and win a game of football. Get in their faces. Dest to Rodri. Into Marcos Lorente now. Around the corner to Gabby Jesus. Get a tackle in there. Gregerson. Oh, this guy's been phenomenal. As 74 rated. As he's charging forward. Back heels it. Oh, a bit risky, though. To Luke Ailing. Brandon Pope now to Jeff Got. Get that out wide to Deckard over. He's just got to keep whipping these balls in as it's towards Harper. And he just couldn't get past, I think it was Laporte. You can just tell we're putting all his effort into this game. Mark Gehi, oh, bad touch from you, mate. As it's gone straight into Rodri. It's now Gabby Jesus across to Rodri again. Let's not let down the little seeds. I think we're the only championship club in this tournament. As Rodri has the ball again. 60 minutes on the clock. If it only to be won, is pretty decent. Hoiberg has come on, I think, for Lorente. Not a bad substitution, that, as Brandon Pope has the ball. Dejan Sorescu down the wing. Oh, there's a defender who's dropped back, but Dejan, keep on going. Sorescu, cut back inside. He has done. Get that to the edge of the box, please. Harper, back out to Pope. Back out on the wing to Aileen. Good whipping. Oh, and it isn't a good whipping. And Gabby Jesus with the ball around the corner to Hoiberg. 15 minutes now. It's gone a bit further. Rodri. Out to Gabby Jesus. Good footwork. Can we just get a foot in ourselves, though, as it's back out to Rodri? It's around the corner to Hoybier. Get a tackle in everyone's... We're even tackling his own men to try and get this ball, as I might go attacking in a minute. We just want to go all out for this. Angelino with the ball around from Dowell into Laporte. Across to De Bruyne. Across to Jesus. Gregerson. Oh, ref! Was from behind, but it was a good tackle. Free kick for Man City in a really, really venomous position for De Bruyne, at least. As Dowell is going to come off. He's not going to be the hero this time. And they've even took Jesus off for Aguero. You talk about good subs. Probably old, but still, that is a great sub. Mark Gehi's still injured. I'm going to keep him on, though, because he's done well. As it's going to be De Bruyne. He's hit the post. I thought that was going to be game over. Sterling can't get an overhead kick. And we live... For nine more minutes to try and get back into this game. It's Doig to run it. Michael Connolly, though, making a run in behind. It's a good chip in behind. Michael Connolly with a header. Michael Connolly. Oh, and Edison. It was a great counter from the free kick, but still no goal. What a chance. Five minutes to see it out. Five minutes. I mean, 1-0 would not be embarrassing at all against Man City, but still, it could be a lot more. Aguero keeps the ball, shoots... And Schubert saves. Get it out quick, please, Schubert. There we go. We've got a little attack left in us, I think. Brandon Pope making a run. Michael Connolly's been excellent off the bench. Michael Connolly, one-on-one -on -one with Edison. Michael Connolly scores! And we have done it against Manchester City in just under 90th minute. The substitute for Kieran Dowell has gone over to the Citizens fans as well to celebrate in front. We may have earned ourselves... A replay against Manchester City. Oliver Burke runs in behind. Now he's coming on. I, I can't even get my words fathomed out now. As Michael Connolly has actually put in what we've deserved. It's literally one of our first shots on target. And he has come off the bench as a pocket rocket to score for us. What a game. 
What a game. It's going to have to go all over again, though, at the Etihad Stadium if it stays like this. De Bruyne into Dest across to Hoiberg. I think I may have to play the game at the Etihad as well today as they're just going to peter out with the ball, I think. There we have it. It's not extra time, is it? Or is it extra time? It might actually be extra time in the quarters. I am unsure as there we go. The FA Cup game over. Is it extra time? West Ham 2 0 up. It is. We go further into this tournament. I want to take Gay off though. I don't want to stress him, but I can't afford to really, can I? Oh, I have to. I have to. I've got to think of the league as well. As it's one apiece against Man City. Who would have guessed? Nelson? No, not off there. It's going to be Matty Pollock. Oh my god, Michael Connolly actually earning his extra time against Manchester City. Who would have thought of that at the start of this episode, eh? In the 89th minute, just before the game had finished, he had that chance against Edison, and I thought he was going to score there, as Man City looked like they've sat back a bit. Our team's going to be absolutely shattered after this game as well, but they can earn a holiday if they earn a result. Michael Doig, or even Josh Doig, can't think of anything but how I'm playing FIFA at the moment as Michael Conley making all the runs this is Michael shoot on the angle and Edison dives on it and Rekim Harper out oh my days we're actually doing well in extra time as well as I say that Harper who's absolutely dead on his feet dead man walking at the moment tries to get that ball over the top but just has no energy Serginio Dest back I don't think they've made a sub as well apart from Lorente and Aguero which really surprises me De Bruyne still on the field which is Good to see that they're not taking this lightly, but then again, I won't mind it at the moment. Dest on the ball, cuts inside, gets a pass off to Aguero. De Bruyne to stand them up. It's De Bruyne and Schubert saves. Jamie Patterson is even coming on as it looks like Pep Guardiola kicked up a bit of dust on the side of uh, Bundle Park. It is an old stadium. It would have dust as it's whipped in from Mares. Aguero throws himself at it. And it's our free kick. Oh, my days. I thought it was a pen there as it's going to be given to Pollock. Just boot this up the field. I think it should almost be the first half over. That was a bit of a dodgy pass. The rescue still gets it, though, over the top. That's a poor ball. The man was offside anyway. Referee, blow your whistle. As there we have it. Second half. Penalties, I'm off flat. Penalties, I would take, though. That's the best way we're going to beat Manchester City. And Jack Harrison has actually come on. I thought he would have permanently gone to Leeds. I think Leeds... Do have a loan to buy in real life. I may be completely wrong there. As Harrison, I don't even know where he's playing. It looks like he's playing in Rodri's role. As Aguero does get the ball back now. Tackled by Matty Pollock up the field. The Grimsley through and through. Scouted lad from the academy. On to Patterson. Across the field to Bobby Reed. If we could nick a goal in normal time, I'd take it. Just whip that cross in. So rescue arriving. Militao over the top. A corner. The fans are going absolutely mental. Run near post, boys. As I'm going to take control of by far our best player this game. Gregerson win that header. Mares with it away. So rescue put a first time ball in. Pressure on the keeper. As Edison catches. And Schubert with the ball at his feet in the goal. Coming a bit out of his goal. But Edison likes to do that himself. So they're probably used to it. City. Connolly gives it wide to Ailing. So rescue. I think he might be offside. But he already played the ball. That's it. We've got lower players. So the, the passing won't be as good as theirs. And we've still earned... Possibly a penalty shootout as Aylin just looks shattered and bad with that passing. What a bad time to give the ball away as it's over the top to Sterling. Last attack here for Manchester City. Aylin completely takes his man out. That could be a red for the next game. He could be off. It's a yellow though as it is a free kick for De Bruyne as well. We're into added time. De Bruyne with a whipped in ball. Win it. Laporte can't win it. Dest passes it but it is going to be penalties against Manchester City. What a game this has been. I mean, we've had the same shots and shots on target against them. So, it proves that we've been in this game. Look at the penalty takers they got compared to ours, though. As we'll trust the order they are in now and get straight into this. The nerves are definitely kicking in now as Bobby Reed against Edison. Bobby Decker Dover Reed going to go right and sends Edison the wrong way. Don't usually see that here. Kevin De Bruyne with the second one. Schubert's going to go the same way and save it. Let's keep calm, as it's Jamie Patterson, he's just come off the bench, I'm going to go slightly to that side, oh, and I should have committed Jamie Patterson off the bench with a poor one, Jack Harrison though, can we save his, as it's saying it's one apiece, that's why you don't get ahead of yourself, Michael Connolly aimed at that bottom left, and is going to still go, got us to this penalty shootout, and scores his own. And now it's going to be Sterling to step up. Raheem Sterling going down the middle, is it? Oh, I should have committed. Brandon Pope. Did he win it against Everton? I don't think he did. I'm going to go for a top corner one this time. A sneaky top bins one. Am I? No, I'm not. I'm going to 
commit myself to the bottom right. And, oh, I shouldn't have done it. I shouldn't have done it. It's point City now. If they score, as it's Aguero who sends Schubert the wrong way. We have to score this one. It's been a good run, if not, as Sorescu against Edison. And it's saved by Edison Morales. Manchester City go through in the penalty shootout. We still can't win one. But it's been a terrific run from the boys. It's a disappointing way to end it out. A very disappointing way. The fans sound like they weren't prepared for that. We took it all the way to penalties. And we have lost it on the shootout. Quarterfinals ain't bad. Quarterfinals ain't bad. Oh, what a game it would have been as well if we got through. We would have been into the semi-finals, another trip to Wembley, oh, depending on one shout, uh, shootout. But still, something to be proud of, boys. It's definitely something to be proud of. Every single one of you can hold your heads high. And if all goes to plan, well, it wasn't really going to plan with that result against Burnley, we could be playing them next year twice in the Premier League as we are going to simulate maybe one or two um, championship games. I don't think I've got the strength to play another game after that result as Burnley are now four points at the top. They have played a game extra. If we get a win, we'll be one point behind. And it's Bournemouth. At least, I mean, I've got to look at a bit of positives. We don't have loads of games now to go before the end of the season, which hopefully will lead to the Prem. As I don't want many games. We want to get to the... Uh, Promise line as soon as possible. Put Mitchell there. We have got Aliens suspended for this game. And Mark Gehi's injured. So it's going to be a bit of a rotated squad, really. At the back, Schubert in the goal. Pollock's going to slot in at right back. Triore, Gregson, Doig. Harper, Dal Pope. It's rescued Jeff Gott and Decker Del Reed. It's the team that played against City. Apart from Connolly, who of course did play the best, him and Gregerson. But I am going to trust Dal, who came off early, to get a rest in for this game. So, I think this might be our game in hand. It's five at the back. It's a great team as well. Still got David Brooks and all that. Can we get a result? We aren't 22 games unbeaten, but still, we do. Jeff got with a late one against a strong Bournemouth team. Not doing well in the league, but a vital, vital goal and game. And, of course, three points as we are now... Oh, my days. Burnley must have drawn the game it wasn't our game in hand because if we win our game in hand now we're back at the top let's just forget about that 5-0 shall we this game against cardiff might be his game in hand though because it is well it is on the weekend but still it's very in conjunction with the last game as matt gay he says he is fit to play new zealand i'm just gonna discard it not even answer you because i don't want an international job should have blocked him at the start of matt gay he's very very happy with himself i'm glad to see the morale hasn't knocked the boys it did knock them for that man city game as well because that was just fantastic as I think I'm going to have to rotate a little bit. Look at Pope's energy. He's flat on his feet. Connolly is going calm. Dowell to drop back a little bit. And let's get Luke Aylin straight back in there. Let's get um, Matty Pollock sent to the bench. And the same with... Who was it? It's Triore. So this is the team. Schubert, Aylin, Gehi, Gregerson, Doig, Harper, Dowell and Connolly. So rescue Jeff got Decker Dover Reed. Can't take Gregerson out even though he's a bit tired. He has been his best player as boys. Let's get a win in this final game. Another simulated one against Cardiff City. The team that's been to the Prem a couple of times itself. I don't recognise many of the players. They're tired as well. <gasps> and are we going to get this result? Please, please, please. Don't slip. 3-0. Good, good, good stuff. Dal missed a penalty. Deckard over Reed with two goals as well. And Jeff got with one smack man in the middle. Is that going to leave us? Have Burnley dropped any more points? Is that going to do us any favours at the top of the league? Hopefully it does, as no, they did play their game and they did win. It still can go above them. We are still five points ahead of Sheffield United and in a very comfortable position heading into the last couple of games. We've got three next episode, then we have four after that and one after that. So how many is that all together? It's uh, one, two, three, four, five, it's eight. So we'll get four done next time and four done after that. And then we'll be at the end of the season... And unless it just collapses on its head, we should be in the Premier League. That is a big thing for us to say. Grimsby Town kind of completing the road to glory. I mean, the road is to the Premier League. We've got there, but we want to go further. Maybe we could win the tournament at one point, the Premier League. You never know. Maybe the FA Cup one time in the future could have almost done it this season. As unfortunately, guys, this is going to be the end of this episode, though. Hope you've enjoyed it. Two very, very eventful games have been played. I know it's not many, but still, 
I've been entertained by them despite losing both of them. Like, comment, share and subscribe with the notification bell on as well so you do not miss an episode in the future of this series and the support on the last episode or the one before that with David Beckham as the thumbnail. Maybe that's the reason. was well, phenomenal. So thank you for that and let's keep it going as I plan more content. Also go to the Twitch which is in the link, description, uh, link in the description below. I've edited all that and hopefully we'll get in uh, some live streams up very soon as I will see you guys very soon as well. Stay fine, stay busted, and see you in a bit.